Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Glory667, which is a new private server hosted by uh, Johnny Blob, if you guys don't know him. He used to be a YouTuber and Tyzenx player. Uh, he's a really nice guy, but anyways, um, this is the home. If you join the server, you will spawn here uh, with a lot of shops, obviously. Um, here we have a mini global teleport outside of the spot. As you can see there, there is a big global teleport. As well as you have the global teleports if you type home, which is also really cool. Uh, as you can see here, a custom crown here and everything has different colors. You also have the Slayer teleport, which will teleport you right to the Slayer task, which is amazing for money. Once you get here, you can get, uh, if you type Slayering, you get a Slayering. Uh, and then after you get a task, which is very easy by just talking to the boss. You also have here a mini global teleport and dark portal. Uh, but then you can teleport to your task and I have a task of chickens as you can see if you type task chickens uh, And I have 39 out of 47 left and here are some chickens that I will have to kill for my slayer task gun But um, there are some teleports that are not added on the ring if they are not added uh, please t Report to John and he will fix it now slayer tasks are one of the best money making methods in game at the moment so I really suggest you guys to do it uh, when you join the server to make the first builds. Um, anyways let's go on with the tour. There is here Ozen which doesn't do anything to be honest. A coin gambler which you can gamble up to 100 mil with. Uh, let me just get some cash real quick. So I got 25 mil here let's bet real quick. And I won the 25 mil, now I have 50 mil, let's uh, just do 50, oh we can't, uh, 25 mil again, oh we lost. But um, anyways, the gambler works really nice and it's scam free obviously because it's not a player, it's an actual NPC. Anyways, the donor shop also has some cool items as you can see. Um, some of the normal items as you can see here, there is a noxious set which you can get, I'll show you guys that in just a second. Max drop rate box which has an amazing ring of wealth and some other items like gold octo. Um, Torva set, Burnex, uh, Virtus, Doom Assassin set, Ring of Wealth, a Cyranic set, Illuminescence, you can get a Toxic Blowpipe and all the Elite sets. You also have a Light Package box and a Brutal Whip which you can get. Also some Donator Caskets, I will open some in a minute. Uh, a Boots Package would give you um, the demonic, uh, Demon Horn Boots and stuff. Another Ring of Wealth and a Party Head set. Now another thing I think is really cool, uh, you can talk to here, to the Barrows guy and you will get teleported to Barrows and Barrows actually works so let me just get up and do a tour. There also is this item called Trident of the Sea, I um, got spawned in obviously but you can't get it from spawning the gear. Um, but I'm going to use it right now for doing my Barrows run. I will be back in just a second after I did this Barrows run uh, with the loot but as you can see the cat uh, the yeah, the catacombs look really cool. They are like the real runescape and look amazing. Uh, you can also get blood money from PK. I'll show you the blood money shop after this as well. Another cool thing is the elite sets. Uh, as you can see, you can get these from a box and then you can equip them. But you can also change the color with an elite box die. So let's change it to red real quick. Looks really cool. You can also change it to any color you want. It's the RGB set as you can see. Now there is also this rainbow dyed wings as you can see which you can also change customly to however you want it. So let's say I want this color and to fit, to fit with my gear. Now it fits with my gear and it's really awesome. There are also these glory wings sparkly which have some really nice sparkly, uh, yeah, sparkling effects as you can see here. The particles look really amazing in my opinion. Now as you could see in the donator shop there was this um, noxious set. I don't have the bow but I have the staff. As you can see here, which looks really amazing with the particles and everything, and also the sight. Um, the, the bow also has the particles, obviously, but it looks really amazing in my opinion. Um, there is also a twisted bow, which you can get from a boss, um, which I'll show in a second. I'll show you guys some bosses. Uh, up. Okay, so the first boss I'll be showing is Kraken. As you can see here, it drops the Trident of the Sea and the Magic Fang, which can make it into a Toxic Trident of the Sea. Um, or Toxic of the Swamp, sorry my bad. Um, as you can see you have to kill the minions first and then you have to kill the main boss. Uh, the minions don't have that much health so it won't be that hard. And then the boss itself will have a bit more HP but you can just pray so no problem. Then we have Sunfleet as you can see here. 
Uh, this drops the Twisted Bow 1 in 1000 drop rate, so it's very rare. It also drops the Demon Horn Boots Fire, which are really good. Um, you can play obviously against it, but I'm just gonna let myself die because it's no big deal. But um, yeah, Twisted Bow, one of the best ranged weapons in game, so um, yeah, definitely worth grinding these out for Twisted Bow. Then we have Leone, which drops the Toxic Blowpipe, also one of the best ranged weapons in game. Also drops Bills Bag, which uh, is also pretty nice just to get some cash. So um, yeah, really nice place to go camp. Um, this drops your player though, so be careful, bring enough player potions and food. But um, yeah, this is a really nice boss. As you can see, there are multiple spawns, so you can kill more than one. And there also is this boss called Virago, obviously you, you guys know it. It drops the Seismic Wand uh, and Tectonic. Uh, also drops the Virago Pet, as you can see there. The drop hit rates are really low, I guess. But um, I don't think these are the actual drop rates. Then you got Nomad, which drops the Noxious Side and Doom the Sessions, which is a really nice uh, gear that you can have. Uh, it has some really nice boost, uh, bonuses. And uh, yeah, it's really good for PvM and PK. There's also the Phoenix, which drops Tetsu, which is one of the best melee armors in the game. And they are found on Phoenix Island, which uh, you spawn here on this boat, and then there's Wounded Phoenix. So yeah, this, this place looks really dope, to be honest. Now this boss, or monster, NPC, whatever you want to call it, it looks really dope in my opinion. It only has the Acidic Spirit Shield drop, which is a custom Spirit Shield to the server. But the, the NPCs itself look so dope with the green and the purple, in my opinion at least. Now this next boss is a bit more special, you get teleported right here to the bottom of this ice pile. Then you have to use the ice ledge and then you have to run all the way to here. Uh, and then you will have to go through a gate and run all the way up there just to get to the boss. But this boss um, drops Cyrenic set, which is obviously the best range armor in the game. Um, I'll show you guys the drops in just a second. Okay, so once you've made it to the actual boss, the drops are Ring of Elf Frozen, which is the best Ring of Elf in game, and the full Cyrenic set, as you can see here. Then you got Lucian, or the Glory 667 Elite, uh, which if you examine, you can see the drops, and it has all Elite Torva sets, the Glory's Crossbow, Virtus Wand and Book, and the Glory Elite Pet, uh, which is a shoulder pet. Anyways, let's uh, fight without spec then. Good luck to Jason, hopefully we can get a sick Venge Kill then. Um, maybe with the rough we can get a KO, or I cannot use this player here because of some reason that's a bug that will probably be fixed soon. Why did I even eat? Didn't need to eat. Anyways, let's hopefully get a kill. Um, I don't know what his special attack weapon is, but I obviously have to venge it because I don't have a special attack weapon myself. Oh, go, 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 go. Damn it. I risked there, but the, the whip special attack obviously isn't good. Anyways, ooh, that was a nice uh, hit with the DHX on that HP. So I know he has the AGS now. I just... Oh, if I had Wrath! But anyways, good fight. So the PK is really active here, as you can see. Now another cool thing is that you have presets. Also, by the way, the, the Steving Wings. They look amazing, they have the thieving cape added and the black particles, uh, they just look so awesome in my opinion. But um, anyways, as you can see here, there is a preset which you can make and then you can add new presets. Um, you save equipment and inventory and for example, max melee is what I'm going to call it. And um, then you choose a preset and you say max melee. So if I take off my gear real quick and I choose Max Melee, as you can see my gear is found, so presets work, which is really awesome. Now as I promised, I will be opening 56 Donator Caskets, so good luck. Um, Pernix Body, Bill's Bag, Virtus Mask, Abyssal with Ice, uh, Illuminescence, which is uh, insane, so that's really nice. Uh, Armadil Chest Plate, oh, back to back Armadil Chest Plate, another Bill's Bag. Upgraded Armadil chest plate, which is uncommon. BGS, Ice Torva plate body, really nice. Upgraded Zamara God Sword, which is uncommon. Um, yeah, nothing really too special besides the Illuminescence, which is insane. So let's open up the next inventory builds bag, nothing, nothing. Punix Chaps, uh, Light Whip, Upgrade Bandus God Sword, Torva plate legs. Uh, oh, Ice Filters, which is really nice. 
another ice piece um, upgrade as jazz why is a barricade rare that's probably a troll drop um, upgrade oh upgrade the zamrakin spear useless to be honest can we get anything oh another ice virtus lags but nothing to now guys to end of this video i'll be hosting a giveaway on the server the first prize will be the glory wing sparkly with the, these awesome particle effects as you can see the second prize will be the noxious side and the third prize will be a noxious staff all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like comment your in-game name down below and subscribe and um, yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video i hope you did enjoy so um Peace, guys.